Hello, dear friends, I am Violetta from Crafting with View of You. This video tutorial is for one of these Christmas bubbles from my new collection, Christmas Jewels. Most of these bubbles are made in regular crochet technique. I use Twister Solid Yarn from Hobby.com for my bubbles and a 2mm hook. I don't know how much yarn goes for each bubble, I just know that I made more than 20 bubbles using only two skeins of yarn. You can use any other sport weight yarn or crochet thread number 3. I use plastic balls to fill my bubbles, they are 3 inches in diameter. You can also use styrofoam balls or you can use water balloons and stiffen your bubbles with starch or glue, but I don't have a tutorial for that. All the patterns are available in my Ravelry store, the link is below this video. The patterns come with written instructions, photo tutorials and video tutorials. And now, let's get started! We are going to start with a circle made with 6 chain stitches. So make a slip knot on your hook. Do not tighten it, because you are going to use this stitch uh, to join this circle. And then make 6 uh, chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now join this circle with a slip stitch into the first um, stitch, which was your slip knot. So join with the uh, slip stitch. Chain 1 and make 12 single crochets into this circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'm going to work around this tail. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Join with the slip stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning of this round. So, the first round is done. Second round, we're going to start with a single crochet into the first stitch from the join. So, we're going to start into this single crochet right here. So, let's make a single crochet then 21 chain stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. These stitches should not be too loose and not too tight, okay? Just reasonable, reasonably um, tight. And then we're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch, which is right here. And we're going to repeat this six times. So single crochet into the next stitch, 21 chain stitches, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. 21 chain stitches. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Single crochet into the next stitch. And like this, three more times. And so I finished the last chain, so I'm going to make one more single crochet stitch into the next stitch, then join with the slip stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning of this round. Now pull this yarn through the loop, cut the yarn, pull it out and I'm going to use a thick needle to weave the end of this yarn right away so I don't need to do it later. So weave it into the stitches in the back
now cut the yarn and the second round is done Round three, we're going to start with a standing double crochet into the fifth chain, into any of the uh, chains, okay, into the fifth stitch. So from the single crochet, we're going to, to count one, two, three, four, and work into the fifth one, okay? And the standing double crochet, I'm going to start with a slip knot on the hook. So this is my a stitch into which I'm going to work into, yarn over, block it so it, you see, if you don't block it with your finger, you do yarn over and then you lose it. So do you, uh, the yarn over and then block it with your finger like this and work into the fifth chain stitch, make a double crochet like this. Okay, so this was, uh, this was the first stitch. Then second stitch is a double crochet, skip one and work into the second chain stitch. So yarn over, skip one, work into the second chain stitch, make a double crochet stitch. Okay, next we're going to work a chain stitch, then we will skip one chain stitch and then work into the second and we will make a double crochet. So chain one, yarn over, skip one chain stitch, work into the second chain stitch, make a double crochet. Next chain one, and we're going to work into the second chain stitch from the last one, and we will make a double crochet, chain three, and then a double crochet into the same stitch, okay? So yarn over, skip one, work into the second chain, make a double crochet, chain three and then a double crochet into the same stitch okay and then we're going to chain one skip one and make a double crochet so chain one skip one chain and work into the second make a double crochet once again chain one skip one and make a double crochet into the second chain so i did the chain one skip one, make a double crochet. Okay, so this is what we have. We have this, this part here. And now we're going to make a double crochet, two together. It's right here. You see, one arm of this, or leg, I don't know how to say, one of these double crochets is sitting on this chain, and the other is sitting on this chain into the fifth uh, chain stitch right here. Okay, so we will start working this one first and then the, this one. So, no more chains, okay? Right after this double crochet, we're going to work this double crochet two together. So, yarn over, skip one stitch, work into the second chain stitch. Start making the first double crochet, pull through two loops. Now, leave these two loops on the hook and work a double crochet. So, uh, yeah, start working a double crochet into the fifth chain stitch of this chain right here. So, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to work right into this stitch here. Okay, right here. So, yarn over, hook into the fifth chain stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through three loops. And these two double crochets together is finished. Okay, so now let's continue working. Um, le let's do it a couple of more times. We will start with a double crochet. So skip one stitch, work a double crochet into the next chain stitch. Then chain one, skip one, make a double crochet into the second chain stitch. Then chain one, we will skip one and then work a double crochet, three chains and double crochet into the same stitch. So skip one stitch, and work into the second, make a double crochet, three chain stitches, double crochet. Okay, then chain one, skip one stitch, work a double crochet into the second chain stitch, then chain one, skip one, 
work a double crochet into the second chain stitch make sure you work into the correct stitch and now double crochet is two together one of double crochets into this chain here and one into the fifth chain on the next um chain arm okay so double crochet into the second chain stitch on this chain leave two loops on the hook now one one two three four and five work into the fifth chain stitch and finish these two double crochets together let's do it one more time double crochet into the second chain stitch from the last one chain one skip one double crochet into the second chain stitch chain one skip one double crochet into the second chain stitch then chain three double crochet into the same chain stitch then chain one skip one double crochet into the second chain stitch chain one skip one double crochet into the second chain stitch and then double crochet is two together skip one work into the second chain stitch from the last double crochet make half double crochet one two three four and five make the second double crochet into the fifth chain stitch of this chain and finish them together okay and like this please do three more times and i'll see you back in round number four i'm almost done with this round so let me show you how we're gonna finish it so i'm doing the last chain one skip one double crochet and now i'm going to start a double crochet the last double crochet one two into the second chain stitch yarn over pull through two loops and now before finishing this double crochet i'm going to join it with the slip stitch into the first double crochet like this and make a chain stitch okay so this is how we joined this round and then i'm going to take a needle and weave in this yarn tail because i don't want to do it later you can do it later if you want so okay weave it in to the stitches in the back of the stitches okay perfect now cut it and we have a pretty pretty round three like this round four is worked with the same yarn color a and we will start with five single crochets beginning with the first double crochet and then one single crochet into each double crochet or into each chain one space so we'll have one two three four five single crochets so let's start single crochet into the second double crochet you see this was the first one this is the second single crochet into the second double crochet at the beginning of the previous round then single crochet into the chain space or around the chain space then single crochet into the next double crochet single crochet into the next chain space and then single crochet into the next double crochet now we have five single crochets here here we're going to work two single crochets chain two two single crochets into the same chain three space so let's do it one single crochet two single crochet chain two and then two more single crochets into the same chain three space okay now from here we're going to work 11 single crochets all the way until this point starting with the first double crochet make 11 single crochets so one then into next chain space two then into the next double crochet three 
then in chain space four then in double crochet will be five into the double crochet together will be six seven eight oops nine ten and eleven single crochets and here we're going to do the same two single crochets chain two two single crochets into the same chain space so two singles chain two two singles from here 11 single crochets one in each space or double crochet so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven now two singles chain two two singles into the same chain uh, chain three space and now 11 single crochets and like this you need to work all the way around this round and the last stitches uh, after the last peak we will have six single crochets and i'll show you how we're gonna to close this round and join the alternate um, alternate yarn now i have finished the fourth round and i need to close it and join the alternate yarn which is this red color so i'm going to take the hook out of this loop and insert it into the first single crochet stitch at the beginning of this round from the back like this and then i'm going to put the loop back onto the hook and pull it onto the back of this star make a chain stitch so now this round is joined and i'm going to join the yarn yarn color b by pulling it through this loop tighten the loop and make a chain stitch now you have the new yarn securely um, attached and we will start working on round number five round five so our yarn b has already been joined we will start with a single crochet into the first single crochet of the previous round it's this one it's right into which you joined to close the last round and all the stitches in this round will be worked into the back loops including the chain stitches we will work into the back loops of these chain stitches so starting with the first single crochet we're going to work eight single crochet stitches one into each of these stitches and also i'm going to work over this yarn tail because i want to enclose it into these stitches so eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and the eighth single crochet is worked into the first chain stitch of this group of two chain stitches so chain stitch then chain two and work a single um, eight single crochets starting with this first um chain stitch which is the second <laughs> second chain stitch of this group okay so we'll start with it into the chain stitch and then seven more single crochets into the back loops of the single crochets below so I have four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to skip one stitch and work eight single crochets. We're skipping this single crochet that is sitting on top of these double crochets two together. So skip this stitch, work eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six seven the eighth single crochet is worked into the back loop of the first chain stitch then chain two and work eight single crochets starting with this chain stitch with the second chain stitch of this group of two uh, chain stitches so one two three four five six seven and eight 
So this is the second repeat. Skip one stitch, eight single crochets. And like this, you need to repeat this uh, pattern six times in total. And I'm going to finish this round and then, and then I'm going to show you how to close it. I finished the last repeat and to close this round, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. And to close this round, I'm going to take the hook out of this loop, insert it into the back of the first single crochet, put the loop back onto the hook, pull it onto the back and make a chain stitch. Then I'm going to grab yarn color A and pull it through this loop, pull this, um, loop to, to, to tighten it and then make a chain stitch and now I'm ready to start working with yarn color A. Sixth round is worked with yarn color A and we will start with a standing puff stitch into the third single crochet from the beginning of the previous round so we will start with a slip knot on the hook then let us see which is the stitch into which we, we, we're going to work one two three it's this one right here so a puff stitch um, it's a thick puff stitch okay we want it to be quite fat so we're gonna do four um, pull ups uh, i mean we're gonna pull uh, a loop four times. I'm going to show you. I don't know how to explain. Okay, so yarn over, hook into the third single crochet from the beginning of the previous round. We're working to back loops only. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and the last time the fourth time yarn over and pull up a loop so now yarn over pull through all these loops leave two loops on the hook yarn over pull through the last two loops this way we're closing this puff stitch now chain two skip two stitches uh, below and work into the third stitch make a, the same puff stitch so one yarn over two yarn over three yarn over and four yarn over pull through all the loops just leave one two loops on the hook yarn over and finish this puff stitch now chain two skip two and work the same puff stitch into this chain stitch into the back loop of the first chain stitch of this group of two chain stitches so puff stitch um, one two three four yarn over pull through all these loops on the hook leave one now two loops yarn over pull through two loops it got stretched a little bit and now we're going to work four chain stitches one two three four and then puff stitch into the next chain stitch right here okay, okay into this uh, back loop so yarn over pull up a loop once yarn over pull up a loop twice yarn over pull up a loop three yarn over pull up a loop four yarn over pull through all these loops and then yarn over pull through the last two loops then chain two skip two stitches work into the third the same puff stitch then chain two skip two stitches work into the third stitch make a puff stitch Close your puff stitch. Now chain one, and we are going to skip four stitches below one, two, three, four, and make a puff stitch into the fifth 
single crochet below into the back loop so one two three and four this is the first half stitch then chain two skip two work into the third single crochet make a puff stitch again chain two skip two puff stitch into the first um, chain stitch then chain four puff stitch into the second chain stitch all stitches into the back loop chain two skip two puff into the um, third stitch chain two skip two puff into the third stitch chain one this is the second repeat second repeat is done then you're going to skip four stitches below one two three four and work a puff stitch into the fifth stitch and like this please work all the way around this round and i'm going to join you again to show you how to close it and then we're going to work on round number seven Sixth round is finished and I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the first puff stitch at the beginning of this round and I'm going to join yarn B into this loop, make a chain stitch to secure it and now I'm going to work single crochets over these yarn tails to enclose them into these single crochets. The first stitch is made into the same puff stitch then a single crochet into the next chain space, then a single crochet into the next puff stitch, so three single crochets, the first into the same puff stitch, then into the chain space, then into the next puff stitch. Then we're going to work two single crochets into this chain space, the next chain space, and all stitches in this round are worked into both loops at the top of the puff stitch or around the chain then let's make one more single crochet into the puff stitch then two single crochets chain two two single crochets into this chain four space one two single crochets chain two two single crochets okay next single crochet into next puff stitch two single crochets into the next chain space then two uh, one single crochet into the next puff stitch single crochet into the next chain space single crochet into the next puff stitch and a single crochet into the next chain space okay and this is the pattern for this round let's do it again single crochet into the first um, puff stitch at this side then single crochet into the next chain space, single crochet into the next puff stitch, two single crochets into the next chain space, single crochet into the next puff, then two singles, two chains, and two singles into the same chain space, then single crochet into the puff stitch, two single crochets into the next chain space, and then four single crochets one in each stitch or space so one two three and four okay so this is the second repeat and you need to continue like this all the way until the end of this round and I will show you how to close this round and the last stitch in this round is made into the chain space between these two puff stitches Oh, I should have worked over this yarn tail. Let me do it. I'm gonna place this yarn tail and work over it. Like this. And the last stitch into this chain space between these two single crochets. And to close this round, I'm going to cut the yarn. 
insert the hook into the first single crochet from the back pull this yarn onto the back insert the hook into the last single crochet from the back and pull this yarn onto the back and tighten it tighten really well like this and then use a needle to weave the end into the back of the stitches couple of stitches back and forth to reinforce and then cut the ends of yarn And it's almost done now we have to make um and now we have to work on the last round using yarn color a and the last round round eight is going to be worked with yarn color a and we're going to create this kind of chains and this part of the pattern is the last round then we'll just need to join these loops together so we will start with a slip knot on the hook please leave this yarn long enough to be able to um, thread it into a needle and weave the ends and now make a chain of 12 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve don't make it too tight or too loose okay just reasonably uh, just reasonable tension next we're going to work seven double crochets starting with any of these points into the second chain stitch of any um corner okay so into the second chain stitch so we have two stitches here one and two into the back loop of the stitch so double crochet and then six more double crochets one two three four five and six then we're going to work um we're going to skip one stitch and work two double crochets six sorry seven in total sorry seven in total then we're going to skip one stitch and work two double crochets together with a skip in between so yarn over hook into the second single crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops then yarn over skip one stitch work into the second pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through all three loops and now we have this double um, two double crochets together with a skip in between now we're going to skip one stitch and work seven double crochets along this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, seven double crochets okay now please make a chain stitch with seven uh, stitches one two three four five six and seven and we're going to join it with this uh chain stitch uh, with this chain into the seventh uh, stitch so we're going to count seven stitch from the bottom okay from where the double crochet uh, starts so one two three four five six and seven insert the hook into this chain stitch now grab the loop okay on this side grab gra grab the yarn and simply pull it through this chain now like this and continue working 17 chain stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay so this is the join now we're going to work seven double crochets starting with this um second chain stitch right here so yarn over 
double crochet, then six more double crochets. Then skip and double crochet is two together with the skip in between. So skip one stitch, start making a double crochet, then skip, make the second double crochet, join them together, then skip one and work seven double crochets into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four. I know this um, design is kind of complicated, so I really, really recommend you check the pattern. I will try to make a diagram or step-by-step -step pictures. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Count the seventh chain stitch from the bottom of this um, chain. The bottom, I mean, it's here. Okay, this is the top, this is the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Insert the hook into the seventh stitch. Grab this loop, okay, make sure that it's not twisted and pull it through this chain stitch. Now make 17 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, and this is the join. Now we're going to work seven double crochets. The first double crochet into the second chain stitch right here. So this is one and then six more double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six and seven. Then double crochet two together with the skip. So we're going to skip first, then start making a double crochet. Leave two loops on the hook, skip, start making the second double crochet. And then when you have three loops on the hook, pull through all three loops, then skip one stitch and work seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so this is the second uh, repeat. No, not second, second repeat um, after we've done this loop, okay? So work seven chain stitches, four, five, six, seven. Count seven stitches up this um, chain stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Grab this loop and pull it through this chain and work 17 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then double crochet into the second chain stitch and 6 more double crochets. So you know this pattern already, seven double crochets, six and seven, then skip one stitch, first double crochet of double crochet two together, then skip one more stitch, second double crochet of double crochet two together, then skip a stitch, seven double crochets, and continue like this all the way until the end of this round and I'm going to show you how we're going to close this round and then um, enclose the plastic ball into this bubble. And now I'm almost done. I'm going to work seven chain stitches. Join it with this loop right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven into the seventh loop and then work seven more uh, no five more chain stitches one two three four and five 
and here I'm going to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain stitch of this beginning chain, like this. Okay, so now we are ready to place this ball into this. Uh, we, we're now we are ready to place this plastic ball into this chain. Um, would stretch much. Let me see. If it doesn't fit, we'll have to unravel a little bit. Oh, it did perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna join these um, chains together like this to create this kind of shape okay so make a chain stitch then a single crochet into the same chain then chain stitch single crochet into the next chain space then chain single crochet into the next chain space then chain single crochet into the next chain space then a chain single crochet into the next chain space and you will feel that it's a little bit tighter now then chain and a single crochet into the last chain space then a chain stitch now we're going to cut the yarn pull the yarn out of this stitch use a needle so thread it into a needle and now work into the last single uh, sorry the first single crochet of this um, last circle like this then work back into the last chain stitch and single crochet like this and now you're ready to weave this end of yarn into these stitches try to make it pretty not visible go a couple of times back and forth so it doesn't unravel this one more time like this then cut the yarn and we have one more yarn tail to to, to hide so we're going to thread it into this uh, thick needle And weave the end into the stitches one more time backwards cut the yarn And your bubble is done it's very pretty I really like this design please let me know which variation you prefer do you prefer this light and airy or do you prefer this solid and quite a very festive looking uh, bubble um, I really hope that you like this video tutorial uh, pl please comment below which uh, which um, color you prefer please uh, like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel please join my group at um, viewers crochet club on facebook if you are making these bubbles please share your pictures on instagram and tag my name because i'm very very curious to see uh, your creations and now happy crocheting